Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, of course, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. So guys, as you know, it is a season of exposure, unfolding, taking down the evil, exposing the evil, dismantling the evil, and all of that. And I have to say, Ye is trending again over on TikTok because Ye was right is once again a slogan. It is a popular saying now in the social media streets because like hell, everything that Ye predicted came to pass and the fall of Hollywood and the evil in Hollywood was also one of Ye's prediction. Ye told Quarry, you're going to go down. God is going to get you <laughs> and all the evil <laughs> that you're doing. And this is what is going viral at the moment. And it's not allegedly because there's evidence there. Also, there's another tweet wherein Ye accused Corey Gamble of stealing from him to give to this other producer guy. I've lost that um, image. But I have the one wherein he told Corey, you're going to go down. <laughs> you're not a great person. You're a nice person, but you're not a great person because you're around Puff and his family. Let's get into it. So it was some time ago that y'all know that Ye was going off. He was saying a lot. And at the time when Ye was saying a lot, it sounded like ranting. Many people said that he needed to be heavily medicated. But honey, at this time, I think we all need a dose of something and Ye doesn't because to see people consistently attacking that man, calling him a madman, and knowing that he has always been right, everything that he has said is going to happen like we literally witness it happening. Who, child. Anyway, saying so one of his posts, Ye said, God has a plan to remove the godless. Corey needed to never be here anyway. And I think he's a nice person. Not a great person, a nice person who used to be around Puff's family, then got around Justin Bieber, and then when Chris got divorced, he slid in. He became the TV version of a father figure. Uh, and as he always called himself a real nigger, he once told my wife he knew what music she should be listening to. So when I see him a week later, I had him removed from my daughter's birthday party. So basically, he was calling him out for like his like mind control, wanting to control Kim, tell Kim what to do. Now, he said that he had Corey removed from his daughter's birthday party because he doesn't want that kind of man around his daughter. Now, Ye further stated that we still never met his family, and I guess we never will. He got my wife linked with the liberals in a deep way. That was his job for some reason. I always felt he worked for DuPont or some organization in that pedigree. Now he's off to his next mission. His job is done. He's not messy enough to do some things, something like this. It is on purpose. I love Chris. This woman is a hero and she done what she had to do to protect her family and make sure they prosper, even if it meant telling everyone not to listen to me. I respect her grind, her hustle, and her mind. Chris is one of the best to ever do it. There is a lot more end of that <laughs> post, but there's a lot more to this. And when you said that Chris did what she had to do to protect her family. He's talking about the secrets. There's so many secrets. Like, we all have secrets, right? So basically, he's just talking about the things that she had to do. You know, might be shady, might be a bit illegal, but she did it to protect her family and get her to the point of wealth and status that they wanted to be at. And he's just calling out Corey Gamble because he's telling Corey, God is going to take you all down. There are so many other like post comments where we spoke about the fall of Hollywood, where we spoke about the evil will be exposed in Hollywood, you know, 
and these people, you know, manipulating people, controlling people, and it's not right. That's not how God wanted us to live. So he spoke about all of these things. And it's coming back full circle because like the man word has came to pass. So at this point, he's trending. At this point, Corey Gamble is trending too because they're asking so many questions about Corey Gamble. For example, they want to know why is it that Corey Gamble was on the scene when the coroner arrived after Kim Porter was found dead? Why is it that Corey Gamble was in Justin Bieber's midst, then Diddy, then Jay-Z? People are still asking, who is Corey Gamble's connection? And there are also allegations of Corey, you know, swinging on both sides of the fence, having a secret male lover. But that's none of her business, is it? Because, I mean, it's his life. It is his choice. If he wants to swing both sides of the fence, that's his business. And if Mama Chris ain't complaining, I don't see why we should be complaining. It is Corey's choice, providing that the allegations are factual. That's neither here nor there in my personal opinion. But I believe the reason why people are bringing that up is because of the allegations that's going on with Diddy and men, sex and blackmail, sodomy ritual, and all this goes on. But the essence of the video, this video, is to highlight, show, and remind you guys that Ye did predict the fall of Hollywood. And he also did predict that Corey is going to go down. And Corey has always been working with the higher ups. And I believe that we all can see that that is true. I don't think it's even half true. I think it is full-blown facts at this time. He could also potentially be a fed. Who knows? <laughs> because he also called him a fed once. But guys, I want to hear from you, though. What are your thoughts? Because when I tell you that shit is getting weird, shit is getting weird. And that's all I have to say about that. See you guys later. Peace.